uh, what are the few conditions that we discussed last time and then we build on top of that. Uh, I'm going to talk about specific price list and now we're going to add specific to oh, customer, specific to the product, specific to the price list and what were the other condition? So yeah, to 10% discount, let's say X% discount, these are three conditions only, the yeah, order amount. Yeah, this is the new one. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah, so these three, we have a video and that, right, true, true, true. This is an example, this is an example. So it can be a specific price list, specific items for customer. So these three we have talked about it. I think you have the video. So we're gonna add the fourth condition onto it. Okay. So let's open up the go to the uh, modifier screen of the order management super user vision operation. Um, so I'll just uh, order management super user. Vision operation, and then we have I pricing, then modifier. So, if I want to create a discount type of modifier, I'll just uh, do a quick search. So, this is uh, there are so many. So, for example, I can take this as an example where we're creating 10% discount on a specific so customer and item those are the two things so one is the item specific thing which uh, we can specify here itself product attribute so here I can give a item number as a criteria and I can give a product as by 4 to collate and that's all so it's now item specific second is the I can go to the line qualifier and I can give a other three conditions which are customer name for example business world so it will select the business world as a customer and that complete the first condition right and uh, now the second conditions uh, which is related to the order so and uh, price list uh, modifier price list And I can put a condition like corporate control L, control L, corporate. And then I can put the last one, which is order amount. Order amount is uh, under volume, I think. So let's see. And then I can look for order amount and then I can put uh, instead of equal to between let's say five thousand dollar to above five thousand dollar right so these are three all of faith group number minus one that means all needs to be correct so I just save it uh -huh. Yeah, if you want all operator, all three of them are, or first is constant, other two are or so then accordingly you will change the number. So take a scenario where any of these things should be true, then you get 10% off. So you should put number like one, two, three. 
1 to 3 means they are all or condition. If you put 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, yes, at least 1 should be true. It's or condition, customer or volume or modifiable. Right, right. So both needs to be true or this. But uh, minus 1 is used when this condition is always needs to be true in order to further do any matching. So this will become like a, this is suppose this is written over here. Just like item. It's always mandatory evaluation. And then this is, once this is done, then it will look for this or this. If this fails, there is no further evaluation done. It's like a mandatory. So, I, yeah, right. A customer is a mandatory one. So, I'll update all of them. For me, all needs to be in place. So, then it will applicable. The second is uh, make sure the line level automatic flags are up. So, you get this dis discount automatically applied. So this is now complete. I can take a order. I have to make sure all conditions I have matched. First was the customer. Then there is a price list. Third one is the item code. Last is the quantity. So I put a larger quantity to exceed 5000 condition. This is the fourth condition. So which is 150. So I'll put, let's say, 1,000, 15,000. So this, all conditions, all four conditions are true. So we should get a automatic discount now. And we have to see why, what happened. Go to the pricing. Okay, so list price was 15 and there is no selling. There is no modified or applied to this. So there could be some limb condition which is failing. Let's quickly verify is there any list level qualifier? No. So this is global active automatic yes. This is set to global. If I remove this is operating specific. This is valid. I'm just checking what is uh, this is now end date. Fine. Item number is uh, is five four triple eight. Discount is available as a percent discount, 10%. Is there any attribute? No. Okay, there is no exclusion as well. And we created three conditions. All should be and price. Oh, where is the price? Okay, TK. Price is corporate business for 5000. So this is well within the group. So we should have this got applied. Uh, let's verify what was the problem. Just trying to price the line. Maybe booking, yeah. You see now the discount will apply. And now if you go to action, view adjustment. A couple, too many things got applied, I believe. So this is one, ignore this part. We have to stop this. And this is the one that we created. 10% discount. So that got applied. Any for both got applied actually. So you may want to disable them. But let's focus on this and see what attributes. And these are the three attributes and the four attributes. All your four conditions are here. No, that should be fine. Without global also should be fine. So there is no point in if this is applicable for all the operating units. You better take this global. If it is specific to an operating unit, then you just uncheck that. Okay, so oh, we can just uh, show you one more time. SSJ1, let me deactivate that uh, so that it doesn't impact this. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll do that too. one second. This is coupon promotions discount. Yep, so I'm gonna make this manual. So just do that.
I don't have a privilege because is deactivating these ones. Okay, so let's take the product is five four triple eight. Put a quantity hundred. Save it. I want a price line. Sorry, it's not crossing. Oh, it's it's already done. Uh, list price is fifteen. You got ten, so fifteen hundred, which is less than the price of five hundred is the limit, right? So I wanna make sure I put thousand to cross the five thousand, and then yeah, I can see there is a ten percent applied, one and a half rupees now, okay? So this is now the scenario that we wanted to produce. You got your own applied, and you can verify all the attributes here. Okay, so one of the attribute fails, none of them gets applied. So if you put a lower quantity, it won't get applied. So that's complete your uh, multi-condition multi 10% multi discount. Okay.